Can I trade in my thousand dollar chip for a bunch of one hundred dollar chips? No. Shouldn't you have fucking hundreds? Five things. Yeah, yeah. What about? Wait, you can my cards. I haven't seen your cards. Oh, you didn't. It was. Who looked at him? Twenty five hundred and three hundred. Stop! Two people have gone bust. Are we going to continue or are we going to call it there? Continue, continue. Continue, continue. Oh. continue, continue until the round is over. Continue, but you guys are stuck on the side. Yeah, and we drove all the way back here like a 20 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Fucking hell. How did that not? So, I don't usually go to parties. To be honest, this was like, I've, I've had a lot of invitations and this was the first one I went to. So, honestly, the only reason I went to it was just because uh, it was the same guy that fixed my laptop. Uh, I remember I did a video a couple of weeks back about it. Yeah, he fixed my laptop, so I felt I owed him a favor and uh, went ahead and played a, a Texas Hold'em poker and blackjack uh, for like four hours. Uh, and then afterwards, <laughs> we uh, pushed uh, his car in into the garage and uh, that was pretty much it because it was broken, but... Yeah, it was great fun. Um, uh, yeah, if you guys if you guys know me, I am the kind of guy who just wants to lock in on their business and only do that. I feel like that works best for my situation. Um, but he was just one of those people, you know, special, special, special situation, pretty much, where he fixed my laptop and, yeah, I felt I just owed him. And, uh, yeah, honestly, like, in true honesty, I don't, like to play those gambling games and I don't like to play I, I didn't even know how to play poker I literally learned like two hours before it uh, and I lost like eight dollars uh, net after everything um, but it was good fun uh, had pizza San Pellegrino as always gotta hydrate um, snacks and pretty much it uh, it was fun it was a, a roller coaster of uh, <laughs> fucking extreme reckless betting and just good fun so yeah uh well it is 12 now it is like 12 10 so i'm gonna go ahead and change clean up the mess in my room and uh yeah uh, i'll see you guys uh tomorrow good night so guys what am i filming today for honestly nothing special is going on nothing is happening today except for one thing today Right now, I am doing a dopamine detox. So today, uh, I am doing a one-day dopamine detox. Uh, I've never done this before, so this is my first time doing it. That being said, uh, the way it works is I need to basically cut out any stimulus. It is basically nothing but uh, pen and paper, uh, which I will explain it in a second. I have it written all down on here. So... So basically what's happened so far is after that last clip that you guys just saw, I filmed that at like 12 last night. Um, what I ended up doing was just staying up until about 2.30, 2.45, actually just planning down my dopamine detox, uh, what I actually need to do, and then trying to write it down all on paper. Then I slept for seven hours until 9.45, uh, went to church for an hour, came back 11, tried to uh, look at my tasks and uh, pick out what should I do, which I'll get in a second. Um, and I ended up just going to bed uh, and actually taking a nap for about almost three hours, all the way until 2 p.m. And then, yep, now we're here. Um, it is 12.50 now. And yeah, I guess dopamine detox kind of starts right now. So for anyone who doesn't know what it is, let me walk you guys through what dopamine detox is. Now, firstly, the reason why I'm doing it is not just uh, because of last night, but it's also because, um, I don't know, the past few weeks, I've, I, I don't know, I feel like my focus and my time management has been really scattered. The past few weeks, I've been struggling to get on track with my work. I'm getting distracted by small things and Part of that is because, yeah, I don't plan in the day ahead. I've, I don't plan the, the night before um, on the day ahead. Um, and I don't put the 
important tasks first, but it's also because my focus has been just so scattered between school and uh, my business. So, I don't know, I felt like the time kind of aligned and finally I, I saw an opportunity to start doing free and detox. So, basically that's my reasons, time management and focus problems. I'm just doing it to, you know, reset my baseline dopamine levels and reset my focus, reset my attention for the next two weeks that I have. You know, um, end of term three is over for school. So this is now commencing a two week break on Monday. And as well as that, we got a uh, DL liftoff challenge uh, in DL, um, which will keep us accountable. Uh, there'll be prizes and it's just a community based thing and I, I love this kind of stuff so for me just to get my head you know right and everything I just want to do this for the one time try it out you know learn from my mistakes and then maybe in the future I'll do another one firstly what is dopamine detox the protocol that I'm doing for just one day is no phone uh, no screen no internet that being said guys I always say this I can't show you guys that without being on my phone so uh, this is a little iffy this is a little uh you know scrapped and put together but you know we're, we're doing our best this is our first time so uh no reading basically just no music no stimulus i think for this i am also doing no food so it's just gonna be water you can still meditate and journal uh because those don't require any tools so i can still uh, jot down stuff on paper uh Got another notepad here and another book here of all my tasks written down. There's no hard and fast rule for this, but it's really whether you want to do one day or seven days. However it goes, so long as you strip away, you know, any stimulus to reset your baseline levels of dopamine. I still want to set tasks and work to do as per usual with being in dopamine detox mode. Um, and as well as that, if you're going to do it yourself, uh, let anyone important know of your intention to commence a dopamine detox period. You know, be considerate so that they understand and they know that you're in that period and you're not just responding. You're not responding and they don't know why, etc. And usually that just leaves more headache after the dopamine detox. And basically after that, you would reintegrate by going into a monk mode right after. It's really sad. I... Um, on that day after that party, uh, I actually forgot to tick off my uh, monk mode on the dashboard. So it actually reset anyways. I lost my 15 day streak. So I'm probably just going to go into another 30 day one and be a bit more specific. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it with dopamine detox. Uh, also with my meditation and my running, which I'm going to do. It's a Sunday today. Uh, I still actually need to use the tracking app. So Nonetheless, I would just keep it to no music. I'll have no headphones on. Um, and I will just configure the the inside timer. That's what I use. Just then there's no sound playing except for the end uh, in the middle. And then that's pretty much it. And then, uh, yeah, just use the tracking app. I think I'm going to go all out today and just do a uh, one and a half hour uh, jog. Uh, pretty much it's a duration based it's not any like uh, distance based so yeah that is what i'm going to do for today yeah it's all for now let's go ahead and start the day uh at 3 p.m um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and stretch and then get to my run
All right, so not a bad pace. Honestly, it was just, just really long, um, but I just barely got past uh, 10 kilometers on that run. I thought I'd hit like maybe 11 or 12, but yeah, I feel like I'm just a little bit sluggish today, but nonetheless, it was a decent run. Did have a diet of 10K in a while, and uh, yeah, now I'm just putting back the weights in my vest. So, so yeah, it is currently 5.44. So I'm going to go ahead and meditate. And then at 6, uh, I guess we'll just start whatever work I can do. So guys, it was very last minute, but I'm now going to go drive. So yeah, we'll go drive, go somewhere. I might film something uh, in an hour or so. I will pick this back up and uh, we will start some work for the day. So guys, if there's anything that this dopamine detox should do for you is it should allow you to get present in the moment. It should allow you to get present in the moment like this here in the playground and you know just get you to appreciate your work again and appreciate the small things again. And so if you ever feel distracted, um, if you ever feel like, I don't know, you kind of forgotten what you're doing everything for or if you're just so distracted as, as per usual sometimes it happens we get into lows and just try a dopamine detox for one day and literally just do nothing like have no no technology don't even film it like if you don't have a channel there would be no need to anyways and just can just like embrace the moment and just sit with yourself with pen and paper and that's all you need you could, if you can even do that for one, just one day, you reset your baseline levels, your dopamine baseline levels, so that the next day, you can pick things back up with a fresh mind. To finish off, let's go up on there. I mean, right on the top of there. I'm gonna climb up it. Alright, we up. We up. Yep, there is the rest of the playground. We are at Liberty. I believe that's what the suburb is called. Liberty, this is Freedom Park. Now I am on top of the veranda. A bit of a risky, a risky climb, but well, here we are, on top of the fucking mountain. Let's go. All right, guys, so it is almost seven, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump back down. I wanted to do a shot of me just like trying to climb this, but uh, there's no good angle, so yeah. Guess we're going back home. All right, so we back, back from our night drive. Now, the tasks I've set for today are just all on paper. Uh, anything that I could do while on dopamine detox. So, what I'm going to just do is just write down uh, and prepare for the DO liftoff challenge. If you guys are not in DO or you're not aware yet, it is a challenge that is going to happen next Monday. It is Sunday today, um, so tomorrow. And basically, it's just an accountability challenge, set goals. Keep yourself accountable to them take a picture or it didn't happen all that kind of stuff so what i'm going to go ahead and do is write down some goals some three main goals or maybe more goals of what i should hold myself 
you know most accountable to you know doing like a little contract with myself yeah let's go ahead and do that It has been what like three hours now um so i went ahead and uh, while it was charging i just went ahead and i did basically everything that i wrote down uh you guys don't need to be able to read this but i basically just completed every task that i wrote down for the day um and i still have like two hours to go uh, honestly i might just go to bed in like an hour or so because I'm just so I'm so bored. I don't know what to do. And I'm be honest. I just want to eat. So yeah. So pretty simple. I wrote down a very detailed and intricate uh, plan of attack for tomorrow. So there is like reintegration instructions. Like how do I reintegrate after the dopamine detox? Uh, nice to do tasks, and then a POA in uh, a little extra detail which I hopefully will be able to follow through for tomorrow for a very productive day. With that, I also wrote uh, my DL liftoff challenge goals. So wrote down my goals. Um, I I'm sharing this with the community anyway. So uh, my goals for 2024 to 2025 is to reach an income of $4,000 per month, $5,000 per month recurrently and consistently um, by the end of 2025 so that is about um, 50k and above uh, per year the second task is reach 1000 subscribers by the end of 2025 on my youtube channel and then the third one is read 12 books in 2025 can reread books but usually uh, preferably a new book every time you know honestly writing this stuff down i i just starting to feel the pressure back up again uh, because it's like i want to succeed in this challenge but i know that there will be some days where you'll be off where i might miss a day and that's just life uh, you can't hit out the park you can't be perfect with this stuff uh, all the time you know life gets in the way and life happens so yeah but nonetheless i'll keep a optimistic mindset for uh, this lift off challenge um, i also wear a little contract for fun which is just yada yada uh, uh, contract speak, uh, professional speak, that basically I am committing to the contract uh, and hitting my actionable goals every single day. So, yeah, that's all I did. So now, pretty much what I've just been doing the past like 15 minutes is actually just like cleaning up my desk um, and like doing whatever I can without any electronics. So I was just like sorting out my desk uh, my drawers, uh, looking through my pencil case, I really got nothing to do, so I guess what I'm going to do for now is just, yeah, probably just fucking clean up whatever I can, um, and then I guess that'll be it for the night. So, it is 11.25, I am bored out of my fucking mind, so what I'm going to do is just journal, I just went through and sorted all this, I... Honestly, I just read it, and uh, yeah, so that has been my dopamine detox. Honestly, when I think about it, it's actually only been like 12 hours awake. Not even that, maybe like 9 hours awake. Yeah, that has been my first dopamine detox, very interesting. So right off the bat, it's allowed me to be more patient. It's allowed me to just have more peace of mind, to plan things down and not have to rush. I want peace like that every day, you know. Sometimes, of course, yes, I want the rush of work. I want to be productive and I want to get shit done and move the needle forward for my business, for my life, for my career, you know, for the people around me. But if anything, this has nonetheless been a good day, a uh, good dopamine detox, definitely something I needed. And uh, hopefully tomorrow, Monday, 30th of September, will be a bit better. I've got a lot of things to do, as, uh, as you guys can see. That is a whole shitload of tasks I need to do from reintegration to nice to do tasks. But really the, the important stuff is the POA, which is just acronym for the plan of attack.
or abbreviation um, where I list down what are the important things I need to get done on that day to make it a success. And uh, yeah, guys, that has been it for the video. Uh, I am going to go ahead and get eight hours of sleep, which is not something that I usually have. Before then, I'm just going to journal and then uh, go to bed. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, if you guys want to start a dopamine detox as well, I highly recommend it. If you ever feel distracted or you just need to, you know, just kind of like reset your, you know, dopamine baseline levels, you know, get away from all that, all the rush and just learn to slow down. So yeah, with that, I'm going to go ahead and journal, um, maybe a quick line for today and then fall the fuck asleep. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Good night and take care.